Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Fula with another video. Shout out to the whole LDBC. So, I'm driving here and, you know, something just really occurred to me, man. And I'm, it's just been on my mind for a little while, be, being a fan of this team. Barcelona needs to get, they have still some missing pieces that they need to, like, put in together so they can like really make everything fluid again and one of the missing pieces I'm going to say is a, a solid defense like I'm, I'm seeing it lately throughout like the last couple of games they have been getting exposed defensively and that's not a good look you know like the, the Barcelona model has always been following the blueprint of the Dutch model, which is total football. But we're not seeing that with them lately, man. And for me, there's a couple of pieces that need to be filled. And I'm just going to go down the line and say what I think. They need a center back. They need a center back who is not just in the in the sense of center back, but also someone who's basically a center back who can distribute, a center back who can uh, jumpstart the offense. And the guy who comes to mind, who they wanted to buy, keep in mind they wanted to buy him uh, before, okay? Um, but West Ham bought him. But as I said, you know, money talks. A guy that I feel they should go after because he has a strong upside and he's doing very, very well this season and and still has the desire to get better and better is uh, the center back Issa Joe. He would be good for the team due to the fact that he's tall like uh, I want to say like maybe 187 centimeters 185 centimeters I don't know but him you have a good aerial threat you have a guy who has some technique on the ball as well and a guy who can look out for the pass you know and also, you have that strong physical presence. So for me, I think he's one of the players that sh that needs to be bought. The other area where Barcelona is lacking, and I know this sounds crazy, but they're really lacking in midfield creativity, and that needs to be fixed. Like. I want to say, like, sure, you have uh, Rakitic, who's always been solid, but they need something else. They need a guy who really gets the midfield ticket. They haven't really filled the void that Xavi and Iniesta has uh, left. And the thing is about it is this. They need to get someone who's not only technically gifted, can get the attack started, and also push the attack very fluidly, find the passes needed. But they need to get someone who's strong too because the game of football is changing. You know, I want to say that technique trumps everything, which most of in the case it does. But now you need a physical presence. You need to get some guys who are fast. You need to get some guys who are strong. But you also get, got to get guys who are still experts on the ball. And so right now, as it, as it stands, and I'm going to be honest, I don't really know a, a midfielder who can fill that creative and technical void throughout Europe as it 
as it stands right now, the only guy that comes to mind who I think because him playing in the two more physical leagues could fill that void would be Paul Pogba. Because he played in like Juventus and he also played in um, he, he also played in um, how should I say it? Uh, he's playing in Man U. Yeah. Now, Barcelona has a, a policy of really not getting a classic center forward. That's not their thing. They need to have that guy. They need to have that guy night in, night out, that you can, no matter what, expect a goal from him. Or expect him to at least be in the area where you can give him a chance to score a goal. And honestly, from what I see, the guy to do that would be Mauro Cardi. Because he's your classic guy that if you put him there, he's got a nine times out of ten score. And Barcelona are really lacking that right now. They need a target man. I know the Barcelona system really doesn't have the need for a target man, but they need to have one at this point. Because they need to they need to change some things. They really do. I'm not saying that the target man shouldn't track back and defend, but that guy, they have to have that guy. You know? Because trying to keep wingers, try, trying to keep wingers and trans transforming them into forwards doesn't necessarily work all the time. You need a guy that is gonna be dangerous inside and outside the box that everybody knows to watch out for. And I think Icardi is that guy. And he's already familiar with the system because he was in um, La Marcia before. So, I don't know what Barcelona are going to do. They need to make some changes. They don't need to make any big changes, but they do need to make some minor changes if they are to, I feel, challenge. And it really, really starts with the defense. Because as it stands right now, Sevilla are in first place in La Liga right now, I think. I, I have to check the records again. But I think, yeah, they're, they're number one right now. Um, and it must be said, too, that, you know, if they're going to make a run at Champions League, everything has to be, like, very, very, very solid. You know? I, I mean, personally, this is just me personally. Although, like, Barcelona were interested in another winger uh, from Lille, uh, Nicolas Pepe, they don't need a winger right now. They need a flat-out scorer. You got wingers. You got Usman Dembele, who I think is still getting the short end of the stick. You got Malcolm. You got other guys that serve that purpose. They need a target man. Okay, they need a physical, technically gifted target man who can play in the center. And I know that maybe they may have to change their formation, but at the end of the day, if you have a target man, you have a guy that you can at least count on for both. You shouldn't have to always count on the wingers for goals. You know, some wingers are busy dist uh, distributing. You know, at the end of the day, a winger is a midfielder. Like a, you know, their job is for the pace. So 
so that's all I got for now, guys. Um, leave your thoughts, leave your comments in the uh, section. Let me know what you think Barcelona needs. Let me know what you think they're going to do during the January transfer window. Let me know who you think they should go after in the January transfer window. And I'm off until the next uh, one, guys. Inshallah.